Do you have numbness or tingling in your hands or fingers? You're going to want to stick around and watch this video. Welcome back to another episode of Twins Talk Therapy. I'm Aaron. And I'm Adam. And together we have 30, over 30 years of experience with athletic training, massage therapy, and physical therapy. So, if you've been dealing with some numbness tingling down the back of your arm into your hands and fingers, um, it's probably nerve related. So, uh, some of the causes that can uh, result in numbness and tingling in the back of the arm is one, you can have some degenerative disc um, in the cervical spine region, that's what's going to cause the numbness and tingling in the arm and in the hands and fingers because the nerves that innervate the arm and the hands and fingers are going to be coming uh, from the cervical region of our spinal cord. The other cause that might um, result in numbness and tingling down the back of the arm is a condition called spinal stenosis. And what this is is just a a narrowing of the space where the spinal cord um, passes through in our vertebrae and also where the nerves branch out and come through the vertebrae away from that. So if there's narrowing in the space within the vertebrae, uh, the little foramen that the spinal cord goes through, uh, that narrowing can end up putting impingement on a nerve root. Uh, what we want to focus on today is one of the other uh, causes of numbness and tingling down the arm and the hand and, the f and into the fingers, and that is nerve entrapment that can be uh, caused from tight muscles uh, that the nerve passes through uh, throughout the back of the arm. So um, we're going to be talking about nerve gliding and nerve uh, tensioner exercises that can help mobilize the nerves in the back of the arm down into the hands and fingers to help alleviate some of that numbness and tingling. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go over some nerve flossing techniques for the three nerves that innervate your hand and fingers. And when we wanna do these, we have two phases. We have nerve flossing, which picture flossing your teeth, we're gonna stretch one end and then the other. So we're flossing the nerve back and forth through our muscle tissue. Second is tensioning, so we're going to pull on both ends of the nerve at the same time, creating tension. So first, you start with flossing to loosen the nerve up. First nerve we're going to talk about is the radial nerve that runs down this side of the arm into the thumb and the pointer finger. And to do that, you're going to grasp your thumb in your fist and close it. You're going to tip your wrist down towards the pinky. You're going to internally rotate thumb down your arm, then you're going to Go out to the side to abduct your arm and then sink your armpit towards the floor. That's going to get the distal end of the radial nerve by your fingers. So you do that, you create tension there and you'll feel it. Then you relax down by your side and then take your opposite ear to opposite shoulder and you're stretching the end of the nerve that comes off your spinal cord. So this is the proximal end, distal end, and you're going back and forth. Bring your head back to neutral, internally rotate, abduct, sink your arm, grasping that thumb tilting that wrist down. Relax, opposite ear to opposite shoulder. And then the nerve tension, you don't do that till the nerves loosened up and you feel like you got a good stretch, then you're gonna do both at the same time. So you're putting stretch on both ends of the nerve at the same time. Next, we're gonna do median nerve. That's the middle of the finger, that's the carpal tunnel nerve. So middle of the hand, palm, two middle fingers. You're gonna do that by simply holding your arm to the side tipping your fingers down towards the floor, extending that wrist, and then sinking that armpit towards the floor. That armpit sinking towards the floor is the last little bit of tension and you really feel it when you do that. Then you wanna relax bound by your side, take an opposite ear to opposite shoulder, get the other end. Finally, we're gonna tension the nerve by doing both at the same time. All right, lastly, we're gonna get the ulnar nerve the ulnar nerve is the most exposed major nerve in the body, and that is known as the funny bone, which is not so funny when you hit that and you get the zing in your pinky. So to do that, we can do it two different ways. First one is like carrying a tray like a waiter, and you wanna take that thumb towards oh, uh, the front and twist in, in a spiral motion, and that pinky is gonna kinda go towards the ceiling and you'll feel the tension. Sink that armpit down and relax and go ear, opposite ear to opposite shoulder. Then you can do both at the same time. The second way to do this is when we're in elementary and we all made the funny finger mask on our face, 
this is also going to get on our nerve and this one's a little bit funner and silly but you can do both nerves at the same time by going side to side that will also get the ulnar nerve i personally like the waiter uh stretch better i feel it more in my pinky but try those to tension and floss your nerves all right so we're going to quickly review how to take care of nerve entrapment issues via the muscles or soft tissue that will cause numbness and tingling down the back of the arm and into your hands and fingers so adam quickly let's review uh, the nerve floss and tensioner for the radial nerve grasp the thumb deviate the wrist internally rotate the arm abduct the arm sink the armpit and then opposite ear to opposite shoulder and then the tensioner you're gonna go same motion at the same time opposite ear to opposite shoulder while you're holding the distal end stretch and let's move on to median nerve flosser and tensioner arm out to the side tip the fingers down towards the floor sink the armpit then opposite ear to opposite shoulder as you relax the arm then the tensioner both at the same time and last let's hit that ulnar nerve you're gonna carry that tray internally rotate sink the armpit and you're gonna relax opposite ear to opposite shoulder and then the tension it you're going to same motion at the same time as the other one so we hope that this helps with any type of nerve entrapment issues you might be experiencing um, as always please like subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell to get notified when we release a new video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below this video or email us at twinstalktherapy at gmail.com and we'll be happy to answer them for you. And that wraps up this video, Adam. Got anything else to add? That's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. See ya.